Hi Witchlings! Welcome back to my channel. It is me, your local chaotic witch hunt. And it is currently Thursday, November 10th. And my word count is not where it should be. Bench can you get off? He wants attention. So, um... <laughs> so today, it's Thursday. I have one thing to do today. <laughs> Stop it. I am your mother. Go potty. One second. Okay, go potty. Go potty, then. We're back. Um, I don't know exactly. I don't know where my word count is exactly. But today, I only have one other thing to do. I only have one thing to do today, and so every everything else is going to be dedicated to writing and spiritual upkeep of the new house. So I still have to smoke cleanse and do a little protection spell. I had, I had to do a protection spell the other day and it completely messed up. So the goal today is to write as much as humanly possible today and tomorrow because I have shit to do this weekend and I've got shit to do for the past three days. So, other than the one thing that I have to do, just podcast recording or writing, and I'm gonna try to hold myself accountable by keeping the camera on as long as possible. I don't know how long that'll be, you know? I did, okay, completely fair. I, I mean, a few things have happened. One, um, my computer charger broke, so I didn't have a computer for a long ass time. And by long ass time, I mean two days, which is like 2,000 words. At 2,412 words. So for complete transparency, we're on day 10. I should have 10,000 at least words. So let's try to get to 10,000 today. Let's try to play catch up. I got my coffee, I got my animal. I don't know how you guys like to write. Either write with music or I write with a show in the background. I know that's weird. So we are chapter four. Ah. All right, 10 o'clock. I'm gonna write till 11, 45-ish. So let's see how far I get. Let's hope it's so lot. yeah. Hello and welcome to Frankie Needs to Cleanse Their House. <laughs> I did do some morning writing. I'm not feeling very creative, so I'm hoping that smoke cleansing will help. I haven't smoke cleansed this space yet. I, of course, have my little charcoal tab. And then I have a traditional Tsufumiji recipe that I made. It's like there's some mullein in here, some rue, some bay leaves. We're gonna add some hyssop as well. Just that purifying element. Here's my hyssop. So we're gonna light this bad boy up. Well, that burns. I opened the window in the kitchen space. So I am gonna be working from the back of the house, back here all the way. The Everyone's freaking out. She's on her hind legs. I don't think cats are supposed to do that. You look like a little human. I have returned to the writing space. It is 3.30. I wrote a bit this morning, then I recorded podcast episodes, and the last thing I left you guys with was smoke cleansing, which I ended up doing like a purification, 
a purification <laughs> blend, and then I doused the doors in fire well protection. I am gonna set up a protection spell later. So since I'm struggling so much with the nan the project that I dedicated to NaNoWriMo, I am going to work on my other writing project, which is allegedly a second witchy book. I haven't, I, I've started it, I've been working on it, but writing has just not been feeling good for me lately. So I'm trying to give myself a chance to feel good about this project in particular. I love to take the dog out and refill my water bottle before I really get into this. I'm gonna try to write for like two-ish hours and we'll see where we get. I lost all my light, but it's all right because lamps exist. Um, I'm actually reviewing my first vlog for NaNoWriMo. I'm reviewing my first vlog for NaNoWriMo that's gonna be published tomorrow on my YouTube channel. Say hi. I don't, so I wanna say this, I'm not a big fan of kisses on the mouth from the dog. Like really not. And I, I can't stop him from doing it, but there's always a little bit of like, oh sweet Jesus, when he does it, he gets in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm already kind of going back in with this alleged second witchy book, and I'm already feeling a lot better about it and about working with it than I am with the novel that I dedicated to NaNoWriMo. So I'm kind of like going in and working on the first couple chapters. This book is not a one month project. It is a like six to nine to 12 month project. It's my editor. Sending August a photo of me filming. Which by the way, August, that's out. So I'm already kind of like going in and trying to work through the first chapter, which is, it's important, but I'm having trouble so far getting my tone down because I know like the purpose of the book. I know the goal of the book. I'm really, I'm working with finding my voice. Um, and because of that, I'm not going in order. <laughs> I have like three parts, a bunch of different chapters, but I'm thinking I'm gonna start in this, like in the third chapter of the first part instead of the first or the second chapter of the first part because I am feeling good and feel like I'm more comfortable with the topics that I'm discussing there. So I'm just gonna, and I have like an actual outline for this book, crazy. All right, well, so I just wanted an update. My other book project has 3,000 words, but half of that is a proposal, so it's probably less. But I feel like I can make more headway with this book, and I also have this one in nanowrimo.org. So just to give you guys a sense of where I'm at on day 10, on November 10th, I'm at 2,663 words. The last time I updated this, I was at 200, 345. 2,345. 2,663 update. Oh my God, one of my friends has 32. Oh my God, all of these people are so ahead of me. Except for August, who's my editor. August is 2,000. I have to, wait, but I think August is doing a short story. I am embarrassed for myself. This boy needs to poop, so we're gonna take him out to poop. And then we're gonna continue working with this. Welcome to um, Cooking with Frankie. Tonight we're making rice with kimchi and eggs. That's like a really easy meal to make. I am not in the mood for spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I could eat leftovers, but I ate leftovers for lunch. Get all that starch out of there. All right, now no one can yell at me because my I rest my rice a little bit. And now, What did I say? 15 minutes soak? I definitely made some headway with my writing, which is really good, but I made the headway in the wrong project. 
I made the headway in my alleged, alleged, ah, get off, get off of me. Um, my, go lay down, my alleged second witch book. Maybe I can have a little snack while we're waiting. So I made some headway, significant headway, on my witch thing. Not really anything else though. I'm gonna put some wine in a mug. If you're under the age of 21, no drinking. This is like really bad. Um, but I did look at a bunch of, I, I accepted a bunch of, ooh, I have grapes. Hot and candy grapes. I don't have another light I can turn on so it doesn't look like I'm shrouded in fucking darkness. I did look and see a bunch of people who wanted to be buddies with me and I saw their um, status on their novels. And needless to say, I'm thoroughly fucking embarrassed with where I am. I'm at like less than 3,000 words and everyone else is like 14,000 to 30,000. And I'm like, sweet Jesus, do you have some belly rubs? Scratches for the baby, scratches for the baby. I will be returning to my book after I've eaten because I do feel like I'm on a roll. November 11th and meow. Uh, I did some good writing yesterday not on the project that I dedicated to Nano but on other things so today we do more I had a very nice morning I chose to take it slow I got my coffee I did like some reading I um started this book last night uh, this thing between us by Gus Moreno and I I'm almost done. It's a great book. I really like it. We have our coffee. Mm. My friend gave me some tips for writing with like trouble visualizing. So I think I'm gonna revisit my fantasy fiction today and see how that goes. I do have some work to do. I gotta edit podcast episodes. I have a spell for a client I have to do. But I did have a very nice morning with the animals. You may have seen a little bit of it on my story. It was a it was a good morning. Now it's about one o'clock. I got up at like 9 30 today. So far my computer's not turning on. I do need to get a new computer because what my computer has started doing is not turning on unless it's plugged into the outlet. And if it is plugged in, it takes about three times for it to actually turn on. It'll turn on and give me, um, it'll give me this little startup thing. Be like, your disc is broken. It's not broken. It's just saying that. See? Startup disc. Um, so you have to like turn it on. I gotta like turn it off, turn it off, and then you turn it back on. And you do that like five to ten times and then my computer turns on. I need a new computer and I'm aware that I need a new computer. I've already taken precautions. I backed up everything, done all the good shit. However, new computers are expensive, especially because I need to do a Mac. Okay, so we're just gonna be sitting here um, waiting for this to work. I love that, um, I don't know if anyone on here watches TikTok, but there's my, my boyfriend has given all the archangels nicknames. And it's really funny. It's on! See? Five to ten times. But yeah, I spent my morning reading. I love it. If you have not read Babel by R.F. Kuang, best book. I believe HarperCollins is on a strike right now, so don't buy it right now. Buy it when the strike is over for HarperCollins. Or see if you can buy it secondhand. And my computer's dead again. So anyways, my writing has been going better since I've switched projects. 
So we're gonna revisit the fantasy, the fiction, and we're gonna see if I can, yeah. Uh, we're gonna see if I can kind of return. <laughs> All right, it's. <laughs> wow, that's funny. All right, we got Google. I'm gonna upload some things to YouTube. You guys are gonna see me do my work and do my chatting. I was watching Olivia's newest video. It's a cardigan crochet vlog. Oh, love it, so sexy. What's with your puppy dog eyes? Is mommy not giving you enough attention? Have a kiss? No kiss? No kiss? Give you a kiss. <laughs> oh. oh, my my vlog is out. Time to post about it. I will keep you updated. Where I'm at with my nonfiction is I am at 1,816 words. I think I can get that higher today and that's gonna be the goal. But I actually have to charge my camera. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. It is 3.35 on November 11th and I just hit 3,500 words in the project that I intended for NaNoWriMo, which is, oh, fan-fucking-tastic. I you missed it. I literally had the animals laying on me for ages, and then I moved. Now everyone wants to do something. So, <laughs> I've just been writing for like hours, and I've got a whole thousand words, so I'm gonna keep going. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, yeah. Uh, Benji's excited. He just wants attention. This is all he does. You gotta give him squitches. I think I can catch up this weekend. I think I can do it. Oh, I gotta take him out. We're gonna get that done. And I'm gonna finish my book. What a good day. Okay. Today is Monday, November 14th. Benji, do you want to say hello? Benji says hi. And I did, what should I give your mommy do over the weekend? None. I did none. But I felt like I made good headway Thursday and Friday, and I have some time today after I like get things done to write. I'm waiting for my like really nice comfy reading chair to get here. It's supposed to, it's supposed to get here um, Tuesday, but they messed up the delivery and did it today when I wasn't here. But since I wasn't here, they didn't deliver it, so now it's getting delivered on Thursday. So today I'm going to call upon the wonderful St. Virginia with a prayer, Virginia Woolf. If you don't know, Virginia Woolf is like one of my favorite authors, along with Joan Didion, Mona Awad, Stephen Graham Jones, and Charlotte McConaughey. McConaughey. McConaughey? and Andrew Joseph White. So today we are calling upon the patron Saint Virginia um, in hopes that she will help me get some writing done. Probably not. If you think the lighting in my uh, office is weird, you're right. If I go like this, that's actually much better. I'm gonna do this from now on. Um, of course, the house is still relatively bare, which isn't awful, but I feel like getting decorations is gonna take time. I also wanna like make some out of like the mass amount of bones I have. I obviously wanna make some, but bitches don't have time today because bitches drove to dance class, got into the studio, then realized their furniture was being delivered in 30 minutes and drove 40 minutes back only to have missed the furniture delivery and then stayed on the phone with the customer service agent. All I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink my little coffee and I'm gonna think about corporate demise. Oh, there she goes. Off to writing we go.
Today is November 15th, 2022. It is day 15 of Mandem and I am at about 5,000 words. <laughs> I'm going to do some writing this morning. I didn't end up doing any writing last night because I was catching up on work because work does this thing that's a lot better. When you move and it gets all backlogged and behind. I do want to get like a cute little rug, maybe a mushroom rug. I think I can get 500 words done today. Maybe a thousand, maybe only 10,000. I am probably gonna do tomorrow like a day of catch up again. I was a podcast recording on Thursday and I haven't been able to fit writing into my routine yet, which is difficult. So we're about halfway through. We got two more weeks left. And I think in week three, I want to try to get to, I think maybe the, a more realistic goal for me would be 20,000 words, maybe 30, 40, instead of 50,000. Um, but I am writing in my other project pretty frequently. It's gonna be fun. We did get our first snow of the season. Um, and I haven't eaten my breakfast yet, which I probably need to do because my tummy did be grumbly. 5,098 words. Proud. I'm gonna keep going. I'm feeling the vibes. This is my fiction piece. Crazy, um, but I'm gonna keep writing. Hopefully, I will give you a in about 30, 45 minutes. I will give you ooh, an updated word count, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I do podcast recording at 12 today. But I'm feeling good about this. I really am. It's surprising to me. I was not expecting to feel good about this, but now I am. I am going to end this vlog because I have reached 5,247 words. I'm very pleased with this progress and obviously I'm going to get into continue writing, maybe vlogging for the rest of the day. Um, or I'll just pick it up tomorrow. Let's see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, comment. Um, give me your best writing tips in the comments. I mean, I want you to turn the bell on, but absolutely no pressure. And subscribe. Siete benedetti.